hi guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video so today we are going to learn how to design a church flyer using photoshop so this is a4 paper size in landscape so now these are the resources i'm going to use i'm going to import this in uh, background then you scale it out then reduce it this way then click ok now apply your layer mask then you blend over here ok now go to your Gaussian blur then input 27.7 then you click ok then i'm going to draw a rectangle over here then go to your test to select this color code ctrl plus c to copy then you paste it Now I'm going to scale it out. Then apply your layer mask again. Then you blend over here. Okay. Then scale it out more. It's alright. Then import this image. Then position it over here. Then change it to screen. Now apply your layer mask. Then you blend over here and this side. All right. Then you go back again. To import this image, reduce the size, then you drag it over here, then go to your blending mode again, select screen, then you reduce the opacity to 66. Then apply your layer mask, then you blend here and the bottom here. Alright, now import this one. Then you scale it out. Then change the blending mode to multiply. Then apply your layer mask. Select your gradient tool. Then you blend the bottom here. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this test. Then select your test tool. Or you press T on your keyboard for the selection. I'm using poppins for the fonts. And this is the code, a copy. Then you scale it out. Then apply vertical alignment. Then I'm going to duplicate it. Then come over here to copy your test. Ctrl plus C. 
then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then you copy the color code. Then you paste it. Then come over to your test again. Then you copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J. If you are using shortcuts. Then highlight the test. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then copy the color code. Then you paste it. Alright. Then I'm going to group it. Also group this one. Then copy again, Ctrl plus C, T for test two, Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the color. Apply vertical alignment, Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then open the character spacing. It's okay like this. Now come over here to copy your test again. Ctrl plus C to copy. T for test 2, then you paste Ctrl B. Okay. Then you scale it out. Position it well. Then apply a layer style. Then I'm using normal then opacity 43 then the spread i'm going to use the spread i'm going to use 14 then the size 24 remember the distance is 8 Then change the color to this red. Then apply vertical alignment and Ctrl D to deselect. Then copy your test. Select your test tool. Then you paste it.
then apply vertical alignment then apply a layer style I'm going to use the blending mode multiply then the opacity 71 angle at 90 then the distance 5 then the spread I'm going to use 9 and the size I'm going to use 6 okay Then come over here to copy your text. Now, you see the text here. Double click on this layer. Then it will open this place for you. Then you paste your text. Now, when you paste it, go to this place then to save it so that it will be updated. Then when you come back, this is how it will look. Already I have made it on ground. So, so I'm showing you the steps to follow. After doing that, then what you do is to export it in PNG. So now I have it already. So I'm going to import the one I have already. Then you position it very well as you want it. All right. So now it's at the center. So I'm going to apply a layer style. So I'm going to change the blending mode to normal. Then the opacity 43. Then I'll leave the angle at 90. Then the distance 8, the spread 14, and the size I'm going to leave it at 24. So you can see the outcome of it. This is the same layer style I use on the Festival of Praise test. So now this is the image I'm going to use. Already I have organized the image in this tutorial so that I'll not waste too much time. So and I'm going to upload the image in the description so I can download and make use of it. So what I'm doing is to arrange this test properly so that there will be a space for other tests. Alright, now I'm going to draw a rectangle over here. Then apply this column. Now copy this scripture. So you already remember to so copy is Ctrl plus C. Then I'm going to draw a rectangle.
then control V to paste then reduce the size position it at the center of the rectangle So what I did is to copy the layer style by holding my ALT key and drag it to that position. Now select your rectangle, then you draw a rectangle over here, apply this color. So I'm using the same layer style. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it and drag it over here. Then I'm going to type the test that I will place over there. Then you place it over here. Now duplicate it. Then I'll drag it over to this position. Then you drag it up so that it will appear at the top of the rent angle. Then I'm going to change this one to guest artist. Then reduce the size by holding your shift key. Alright. Now I'm going to place their names of these ministers. Control V to paste. Then arrange it properly. I'm going to reduce the font size. Then go back to your test to copy the surname. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then select your test tool and paste. Then I'm going to scale it out, increase the size. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then hold your sheet key, then you drag it over here.
So without wasting of time, I'm going to fast forward here. Alright, so we are done with that. Then group it and rename it. So the next thing I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Then copy this color code Then you paste it So apply this layer style It's the same with the one we have used before So here I'm going to change it So input this number Draw a circle here by holding your shift key so that it will be perfect then apply vertical and then I mean horizontal alignment so expand it by 5 Then you select a razor to click on this one. Then you brush it. Select soft brush. Then expand your brush. Then you clean it up here. So you can see what happened there. Now I'm going to change the color so for now I'm going to use this color later I'm going to change it then you duplicate it then you drag it over here so apply the same thing to this one expand it by 5 then you select a razor tool then you clean it up ctrl D to the select Now, so the result I'm going to do, duplicate this one. 
then you reduce the size okay so do the same thing to the other one duplicate it then you drag it over here Now the first one, I'm going to change the color to red. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this red color, then apply a stroke. Then increase the number of the stroke. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the second one, remove the fill color, then apply stroke. Then increase the size. Alright, so I'm going to increase it so that it will close up the space. Then apply the same to this one. All right. So now I'm going to copy this test here. Then drag it up. Then position it over here. Then I'm going to change the font color to this color. it so that our next test can be placed over there then control plus V to paste then you position it here reduce the size Okay. So I'm going to copy this one. Control plus C to copy. Then select your test tool. Control plus V to paste. Now I'm copy this one. Then you paste it. Then I'm going to reduce this one. Then increase the font size. Then I'm going to select this one and cut it out. Now you press Ctrl plus X on your keyboard. Now select the test tool, then you paste the one you cut. Then position it over here. Now 
then apply increment small now import this one okay so the next thing i'm going to group this one and rename it then copy your location select your test to then ctrl plus v to paste then expand the size and you position it over here scale it out again then close the space a bit Then group it and rename it. Then now control A to select, then apply vertical alignment. Now use your arrow key then to shift this one. Thank you so much for watching, please remember to subscribe, like, share 